Hi guys, Steve here. In the first episode, I showed you how to farm resources and get your first sub. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build an underwater base. I had shot a perfect two hour video where I showed you how to build this particular base step by step. But when I got it into editing, I noticed for some reason that it had no game sound. Now because there's only one game save and I couldn't restart from where I left off last time, I had to start a new game, play it for another two hours to where I was, then spend another two hours creating a new base. So that's why my life pod locations changed from last time. Right, let's get started. You'll be pleased to know I've sorted out all the boxes. Plus, I've been farming for about an hour extra, so most of these are filled up. We've got sulfur, a bit in there, gold, silver, copper, copper, lead. These are all metal, quartz, rubber, salt, and plant. I farmed all this so I don't have to stop and farm as I'm making a base. We've got our seam off again, a mobile vehicle constructor, and our pod in a different location. Right, the first thing we're going to do is now I've got quite a lot of resources, I can build some new equipment. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to build a radiation suit. So I can get closer to the derelict ship. Get a helmet as well. Next, I'm going to build a compass. I can see which direction we're going. At the moment, there's nothing there. I need to make wiring kit. Two silver for that. Now I can make the compass. And now I can tell where's north and south. And that gets added onto this chip's side. This upgrade slots. The next thing I want to do is build a high capacity tank so I can stay underwater longer. So take your normal tank off, put it in your inventory. I've got all the materials ready. That's a huge one. And that's going to take us up to 1 minute 35 underwater. And if I correct, it also unlocks a rebreather so I can stay underwater even longer. I need fibre mesh and wiring kit. So I'm just going to get that. Let's get some silver. Two more of those. And rubber. Oh run out of that so I need to go to the creek lines we get to see a new landscape a hell of a lot of boxes. Hope I can recycle them later. Don't know if you can or not. Let's make a wiring kit. And convert the vine into the mesh we need. a rebreather. Right, that's 
your radiation helmet. Put that on. It recycles CO2 into breathable air. There's no notable change there. Let's dump that there. Dump those in there for now. Let's see if there's anything else we can make. I've not actually made a fire extinguisher and I want to see if it unlocks anything. Got one what I started off with. But there's no need to make another one. No, I don't think it does anything. It's not unlocked anything. I've made those made all these in fact I can make a first aid let's make a couple that didn't unlock anything either so I've made all that I've got that got 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 I've not made a flare. I need to make this. I can construct the base. But I'll do that when I get back. I found a laser cutter blueprint when I was out there and I can't make this yet. Uh, also, two other things I found is a beacon just on the bottom of the ocean. I scanned it. I'm able to make that. If I to make one now to show it you. In the misc basket, copper. So much easier now. Sorted the boxes out. It's bugging me before. Right, I make a beacon. Fits in the inventory. And it's only one slot. This is good. Also. You've noticed artificial gravity lights objects and small creatures. I'll use that when I get back. So I'm just going to get some food and water. Get some fishes. I'm going to eat your little fishes. I'm going to eat your little fishes. What awesome TV shows are off. those bladder ones got salt I may as well use the water I've got is that a rock? no it's not going on a trip in a second so make sure I've got everything I can cure the food so it makes it last longer so those are cooked the O's full up So dump these for now. I can use those nutrient bars. Right, water. Don't need those. In fact, to put the salt in there. Let's make a few water. Right. Let's take them. Take three with me. And let's take the nutrient bars just in case. Making sure I've got a spare battery, 
spare power cell, first aid kits. I'll take another one just in case. Right, I do believe I'm ready to start building the base, but before we do, there's a vital blueprint missing, and that is a multi-purpose room, and I need to get that first. So, I'm going to keep my radiation suit on for now, I'm going to put my rebreather in there. I've got everything I need. Always be prepared. Right, what we're going to look for is an island and it's at the back of this spaceship. So I need to be heading south southwest direction. I've played the game before and I know it's there. So let's find a spaceship. It's usually covered by some clouds, so head towards these clouds in front of us. I'm going to scan the boxes as I go, go along the bottom of the floor. I've got plenty of basic materials. So I'm not going to stop until I see something good. It's getting dark. Should have timed it better. Seeing anything I can scan at the moment. No boxes. Go southwest, head towards those clouds. The spaceship should be over there. the island. I'm sure you want to see it in the daytime so I'm just going to hang you here until it's day so you can see it in the light. Right, it's morning. And that's what the island looks like. It's a floating island. Set you underneath to start with. So we can scan these. Ancient floaters. Scroll down and you can pause that if you want to read it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, we need to find a good place to up and this is quite good so we could go up the side there otherwise you can go underneath in the center of the island I hope I don't get any rock falls on me and there's a little lagoon in the center let's have a look around the entrance up. There's a cave there. Some cave. Right. First of all, let's pop the drone down. So we have multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Uh, multiple energy signatures. So we put the drone there. So I'll be able to find this island really easy next time. So it's way up there. Let's 
quickly check this out. Nothing there. There's two ways up. That's beacon two. I built beacon one and placed it next to a good mining area. Let's scan these while we're here. ship pod over there right let's go up follow the path huh? now if you notice there's a structure up there so we need to get up there and scan it so then we can build it. Let's scan the local fauna as we go. Can't see anything down there. Jaffa Cop. Read those later. Right, that's where the lagoon is, so let's try and go up there. Do a bit of rock climbing. Make sure I don't fall though, otherwise, that's going to be painful. There's another settlement down there. is like a sandy yellow colour. It's quite high up. Good view. Alright, let's start scanning. I've already got that. Bulkhead door and the metal wall. These increase the strength of your underwater base. Spotlight up there. Supply crate, extra water. Just scan everything. Right, observatory. New blueprint acquired. And they'll grow bad. Grow these, let's take a fruit. They're growing it, we'll be great able to grow it too, I think. Oh, I missed a data pad. Integrating new PDA data. Press tab. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. 
Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Oh, alien spider things. So I brought my first aid kits in case I get damaged. I think it's best to fight with these because they're just going to go after you anyway. They look like little spiders off Lost in Space film. Where's your one gone? There he is. Scan him. Cave crawler. Read that later. External grow bed. Hopefully I'll be able to grow those. Can we harvest that anyway? Nope. Was it all planter? Show that on the inside. An alien tablet. Definitely pick that up. Aliens. New PDA I'm really PDA. glad the voiced over everything. It makes it more immersive instead of having to read everything. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't going to find out by staying here. New blueprint acquired. I do like exploring. In Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. New blueprint acquired. I was waiting for him to finish speaking to pick up that one. Integrating new... Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? 
Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Interfere with my family again. Me and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. up there. Oh, plant pots can scan those. Water, so let's have some of those. A new one. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking of it. It's gonna be dark. Get my torch. Around the back of the island. In fact, instead of me keep running and putting a torch in and out like that, I'm just going to wait here until it's daytime. Back in a bit. All right, it's morning, so let's continue. uploaded to PDA. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. 
Couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Sweet formation. Cave. Ooh. Looks like aliens to me. Scan. Huh? No, let's try this gateway. Further research required. I think that's everything in here. Let's go back to our sub and make a base. Can drop down there. Good. Don't want to die. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, let's go back. Out the habitat later. Right, it's daytime, I can search the bottom of the ocean. Hopefully I'll find something to scan. Something. Oh, I see glider, I've already got that. Some wreckage. See if there's any more around, or isn't it?
Let's check this out. Sounds like a sand burrow. Yeah, there is. There's nothing here I can scan. Open. Oh, something there. So that's what a beacon looks like. I've already learnt it. Nothing else there. There's a pod there it is. Okay then, let's put the plant material in the end one. Oh, that's completely filled up. That's filled up as well. Let's put it in the misc. provisions anymore. Save that alien tablet. Water. Oh, those fish survived. I can cook them. Getting a bit hungry. Common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. I might need another box this way. I'll throw that away. Right. Let's build the habitat builder. So... Where is it? Oh, I can build a tablet now. Right, where is it? There it is. I need chip and wiring. So two silver for the chip. One gold, one copper wire. Table coral. And go. One chip, one wiring, advanced wiring kit I can build now. There's a habitat builder. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Right. Let's get some material. Let's 
getting dark. And I need to find a good place to build. I think I might go next to the creep vines. Because they take a lot of space up when I'm carrying them. Anyway, we'll be building in the morning, so back shortly. Right, it's morning, so let's find a good base location. What I'm going to do is build another one of these. So I can put a beacon next to my base, I know where it is. Right. Don't need those. Don't really need those, but I'm going to keep them anyway. Right, if I swap my radiation suit out and go next to my ship, I'm pretty close now, I'll start getting radiation sickness. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let me switch the markers on for now. Right. I like normally going next to creep vines because they take up a lot of inventory space. But if I do that, that's really close to the ship. I want like a cliff area. So I could park a big sub underneath it. Deep enough as well. This looks promising. It's a new biome area I've not been to. There's wreckage and boxes over there. Let's see if we can build on here. It's not right next to the reeds as well. Right then. Um, I've got the habitat builder equipped. Select it. And I'm gonna start off by a multi-purpose room. Now oops. You can place down a fat flat foundation if you want. In fact, I'm going to to lift us above that. Like I say, you don't need to build one because it's going to it'll put you on stilts. I just want to make sure I've got enough clearance. snaps in between it. So I'm going to use this as my central hub. Let's move it a bit further away. I'm just going to deconstruct this. Do back positioning. There we go. So place habitat down. And it'll create its legs like this. It may be pretty to separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space looks like a good positioning. Can, but never forget that it does not. Right, I want a 
window. Can I build one yet? I need glass. So I'm going to have a side tunnel. Oh, it's an angle. Junction there. Another one there. So we're going to walk in there, and I want this to be. Another room. Running out of materials. Go back. Oops, I almost forgot. Place your beacon so you can find your house again. You don't really need one of those, but if it helps. Let's get more metal. Make some glass. Any more quartz? Let's make more than that. Do. There's my beacon. Quit my habitat builder. Left mouse button to continue building it. Deconstruct that window and put a window there. There we go. It's going to be my office. Next, I want to hatch so I can get in. Typical. So I'm going to have those doors. In fact, I'll tell a lie. I'm going to deconstruct that. Put a tunnel there. Then I'm going to have like, a moon pool here. That'll work better. So I'll come in here. That'll be that section. I can have this area 
There's my office. What should I have next? Can you add that in the back of that? Yeah, I can. Seek fluid intake. I'm just gonna have a quick think and back later. Right, I've had a think. When I get my moon pool, I'm gonna come in from here and go to the right. I'm gonna have a storage room here with my office. And at the back of that, hopefully I can have a scanning room. So I'm gonna add another tube here. and keep them all at the same width. Put a scanner there. There we go. Right, what do I need? Copper, gold and table coral. Aren't she inside? Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. All right, it's got no power at the moment, so you notice my oxygen's going down. Now, if I build this base too big, uh, it will start to buckle and weaken. So, and then it will start rupturing, filling up with water and flooding. So I need to build some bulkheads pretty soon. So, 30 seconds. let me just go to get some oxygen. For now, is solar panels. So I need copper. Grab quite a lot of copper and gold to finish that one. There we go. So I need rubber, titanium. This is everything I can build up to now. How much gold does it take? One gold copper, All right. drones out otherwise the fish start playing with them. I've not got room for the other one yet. So I'm just planning this. 
Next, I want some power. So let's build some solar panels. Now if you notice in the top middle, I've got 75 power and it's going up gradually. Obviously at night, because it's solar panels, you don't get power, so I'm going to build another one. Place it close to the other. So this is going to be my office, this is a scanning room in here, I'll show you that shortly. This is what the rest of the habitat looks like. That's where the moon pool is going to go. Let's build some storage boxes. As soon as I want to come in, I want storage there. So you can build two types. I'm going to start off with the wall ones. I'm trying to get that lined up with the lines at top and bottom. And that gives you a lot more space. So I'm going to dump that in there. So I can bring back more. Power's reached 150. This is looking good. Right, where's my sub gone? soon. I can pick all of them up when I've moved everything over to the main habitat. Right, let's see what I need to build. Bulkheads, silicon rubber, got that back at the thingy. Table coral gold. Right, let's get a bit more gold.
Let's build another dome there. Nice multi-purpose room. Right, now I want to put bulkheads in. Starts leaking. In fact, I might add some more stuff so it leaks so you can see actually see what happens. Let me equip my repairer. Oh, it's leaking there. See? I've built it too big. That's good. So, what I'm going to do... Build a bulkhead. See, it's starting to fill up with water. The whole thing will. So I'm building that to close that off. Repair that. Got to go around repairing all the holes. This is what happens if you don't reinforce it enough. Draining systems initiated. Right, I filled the holes up so it's pumping the water out. I think it might be flooding in the other areas. Put another bulkhead there. Full of water. Close that. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Put another bulkhead in. So where do I want this one? Up. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Right, got all the holes, I think. There we go, water's starting to go. Running out of oxygen. get at me. So two bulkheads should be enough for now, but I'm going to add more. It's a bit weird how that's defying gravity there. So I want one here. Moon pool. I'll keep it close for now because I don't need it. Pair this side. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. There we go. Now our base is saved. Some main entrance. Alright. Right. I'm going to walk in here. Storage air. Oh, let's put a crafter there. Food. I need coral. Might as well pick everything up here. Press the wrong button. There we go. And now we've got a proper fabricator. I'm just going to go out and get some fish. So I've got something to eat. Quick 
play. Base is looking good, isn't it? Emergency. Starvation imminent. Sana. Welcome aboard, Captain. Seek fuel Once you get down to zero, you start losing health really fast. Let's get move on water. Vital signs stabilizing. There we are. Now we're self-sufficient. Right, I'm going to put a ra uh, the radio on an opposite wall. To get missions. It's a bit dark out there. Because I don't want to put it next to something and click it by accident when I'm not ready. So let's do. Oh. Yep, got enough. Could put it there, but I might click that by accident, so I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to put it. Screw it, let's go here. There we go. Right, onto an aquarium. Because that's where I'm going to store my fish for now. Put it against that wall. Oops, clicked it off by accident. can collect lots of fish, put them in there, and if I'm hungry I can just take them out and eat them. They won't mind. <laughs> uh, next, so you've got, this is a large, this is a large locker here, but this is one's even larger. So let's put this, make sure you don't block your pathway, so if I go here, Let's build my desk. We shall have a bench. Screw it, let's have a desk. Put my chair. I can turn those around, it's quicker from placing it here. There we go. It's a bit off lined, but fish tanks in the way, and that, that'll be fine. I can put me other stuff the other side. All right. Walking in here, I can put some more shelves across there. That. Need more titanium. As you can see, it takes a hell of a lot of resources to build, but fairly easy to get. Let me clear all this out. I can go back and get some more. Boxes. Go to the side and to the handle. Goes in there. No. Farmed beforehand, otherwise, we'll be waiting quite a long time to farm all this. Right, I think 
gotta overrule that. I need soap for now. Take some copper. Full up, so let's go back. how much this can hold it's a huge amount you can go against the wall if you want but I don't see the point I like putting them back to back like so fill that up if I wanted that's good let's walk in there Put some more storage containers across here. I might put a window there, I'm not sure yet, or reinforcement. Right, let's see what else we can build. Uh, not too bothered about that at the moment. Done these. Indoor grow. Right, I'm going to build a farm at the back, so I'm going to do that next time. Observatory, I'm not that bothered about. Uh, I haven't got that mineral yet, so I can't build up reinforcement. Gonna make do with bulkheads. Spotlight, yeah, I could do that. I've got quartz, yeah. Let's build some glass. Obviously, if you build electrical stuff, it uses up electric. It's going down. Right, let's go back up again. So let's have it spotlight at the entrance so we know where it is. There we go. Can you turn? Oh, that's good. Don't know it turns. First one, actually. Going to take uncharted territory soon. Alright. Just looking at everything we can build. What we can make this time, then leave till next. That's all the important stuff. I'm just going to dump my stuff in here for now and sort it out before my next episode. I'm going to get some rubber, but I want to show you this first. This is our scanning room. You've got upgrades over here, so you can fabricate different stuff. It takes quite a lot of resources to build a camera drone, so that's why I took mine off. Otherwise, official nick it. Uh, and once you've built your upgrades, you put them in here. Now, this is the map of our train at the moment. You want to select what item you're looking for. Let's say you want to find... Let's find... Metal salvage. It's found one there and it'll keep scanning and find more and more. Now over here you have... You remember the round camera drone on the side? Right, I've just disconnected from there. And you can ride it around like this, which is pretty awesome. There's a metal salvage it's found. And you can have two cameras and then scroll it with your mouse wheel to select a different one. It's found the metal salvage, you can have a look at it. And that's found more of it. Let's 
scanning room is awesome. Spying on myself. So that's the last thing to look for. You press X to stop scanning. And then if you want to find Rex. It's found one there. But I'm going to go and get my drone before a fish steals it. I like playing football with them. Just let go eventually. But you have to try and chase it and get it back for a while. Seek fluid intake. Don't need more water. And this is our in fact, I'm going to go get some rubber so I can build some more bulkheads. Because if I extend the base any longer, it'll collapse. Well, rupture again. Maybe you get the rubber from these seeds. Two of them, three of them. Not false, let's go back. Pick up the metal up next time, there's no rush. So why is it finished? There's a lot more to do. I'm in dangerous low on water. Try and get a bladder fish soon. Right, let's put a bulkhead there. that up. The frame itself strengthens everything. Let's put bulkheads everywhere we can. This room. Got to put a window there, but it's going to weaken the structure. I don't really want to at the moment. Seek fluid intake immediately. Oh no! Oh, do me. Cool, saves me going back to my escape pod. Water's more urgent first. Vital signs, stay there. We go. So I've got a rubber. I can't build the alien containment yet. This is everything we can build up to now. Right, 
so let's build another tube. I want like to build a glass one, but that's going to weaken the structure. Right, that's the main way you go in. So I'm going to put a tube there, and I'm going to put, if it'll let me, a room there. I should put a bulkhead in there, but I'm going to try and risk it. Let's put the tube facing outwards there, so I can extend it more. Oops. Need more titanium. I think I've used my supply up. Fish do that. Oh, it's a laser cutter. Learn that, so it's going to give me two to turn him. Any more metal, and there's no blow me, but can we go after easy clean up? What's that? It's like a scanner. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Super safe. Go away. Oh, more stuff to scan. I think that's uh, but by oh, it's a scanner room, yeah. Gives me more metal because I've already learnt it. He's a bit angry. Any clue ways to suppose I've not seen those before. Base. Spotlight's a bit small. Put the bulkheads in quickly. It might be leaking. Is it leaking? Right, bulkheads quickly.
easy to walk through, so it doesn't matter. Look at there. More titanium, silicon rubber. I forgot to break them down into silly me. Completely run out of power. <laughs> Emergency power only. Shit. So it's night time. I've been building a lot of stuff and we've run out. The oxygen's going to go down. So what I'm going to build is a bioreactor. I need wire, so I need silver. Some lube. It's quicker just to go over and get it. I'm going to go to a pod to the base, looking good. Make the components. So wiring. Break that down to make the lube. everything. Anything in there I can use? Nope, not for now. Let's save those. Take that for when I need more liquid. and I can just unload them when we get to my main base. that little screen you want that facing your direction because you don't want it behind you because that's going to be a pain a reliable power source is a critical step towards oh. self-sufficiency consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair so what you need to do Go out and get some organic stuff, anything really. Get some O's, get some knife, cut those. Put them into his full. Put a tunnel there so I can get to it. And just left click on it. Dump all of your organic stuff in there. Start turning around and fill up with green mush. And you notice in the 
top middle, the power's going up. Now you're self-contained. We've got loads of room. So we've got all this to fill up. Bulkheads. It's looking good in it. I do like the building in this game. Let's see what else, if anything, we would need to build. I'll fill those in another episode. I don't want this to go on too long. Time. The use of the wrecks around us. I'll build some upgrades next time. And hopefully we can get a moon pool so we can put the seam off in it. It automatically picks up and lowers it, which looks awesome. So let's put can that go there? Fit another one in there. Let's try it. No, it won't let me. I need to do another central one then a connecting tunnel between them. Should be able to do a connecting tunnel this way though. Like so. I'll put a cross one in. And put a entrance there. And see if we can get up to linking up. I'll have a practice offline. Well guys. That's our underwater base, and it looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? On the next episode, we'll be filling it up with some stuff. Got loads of space, doing an indoor farm, and doing the missions. Going to radio and see what around to explore on the map thanks for watching guys if this video has helped you please like and if you're new please click the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified of when i upload next there's links to my other videos at the end thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you again goodbye